guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to film my Project Pam Roulette update video for you. And as per usual, I will link the 50 prompts that we're using down in the description box. And first of all, I'll show you the progress that I have on my current products that I'm working on. And then we can roll in any new products and pick a new prompt if I've met the goals that I've set for these ones. So the first product I'm going to show you is my By Terry CC Serum. This one's in the shade Apricot Glow and I'll insert a clip of where I was at the last update. And here is where I'm up to now. You can see the little mark that I've made there. So I'd say I have about a third of this bottle remaining now. I would say maybe two more updates based on the amounts I've used up in the past two months. I'd say probably two more months in this project and this one be finished. I've been using this, as I said in the previous updates, as like a very glowy priming base. There's literally zero coverage in this. It's very much just an illuminating kind of a primary base type product so I'll put this down underneath any foundation um, so I'm really enjoying using it but I definitely would not repurchase this because it's so expensive and then I have my NYX can't stop won't stop powder foundation again I'll insert a clip at the last update because I did have quite a lot of pan then but this is what it's looking like now so as you can see it's almost completely gone. I just have that ring, that thin ring around the outside left to go. It's getting quite difficult to use this because obviously I use it with uh, my Real Technique, Real Techniques buffing brush. So I use it to sort of set my foundation down. And there's not a lot of sort of surface area actually left of uh, powder. I might try and repress it or if not I'm just going to use a bit more of a smaller brush and kind of dig around the edges there but I would imagine that this one would be done by the next update which is really exciting. So that's that one. Then I have my Kim KW lipstick and I believe at the last update I had five uses on this and I wanted to use it 15 times and I have used it 50 times. I'm wearing it today on my lips and as a cream blush. So. I don't know how well you can really see the colour. I'll show you a clip of where I was last time when it had five uses during this project. And this is what Kim KW lipstick looks like now after 15 uses. So I used it 10 times since the last update. And I should clarify, when I say uses on a lip product, I mean using it, using it on a particular day. So I don't just mean applying it once in the morning and then if I've applied it again in the afternoon, that's another use. I mean I've used this 10 days since the last time. So I've used it as a cream blush, I've used it as lipstick and I've topped up throughout the day. So not just individual uses, if that makes sense. But yeah, I love this lipstick. It lasts a very, very long time on the lips despite it being a creamier formula. It's really lovely, the packaging is to die for, and um, I'll probably throw this one into a future product. I'll probably throw this one into a future project to try and use it up because I don't have that much left. So that's the first product that I've hit my goal on, and this is the second product that I've hit my goal on. This one was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, the highlight. And this is one that's in the shade Brilliant Strobe Light. So I'll show you where I was at last time. My goal was to hit pan. As you might be able to tell, I've hit pan in the middle there. It's that kind of checkerboard pattern that these baked products have. So I'm happy to have hit pan on this one. It didn't take me that long actually after the last update to hit pan, so this one's been done for quite a while. So I'm going to be rolling in two new prompts and products into this one, which is really exciting. The next one I haven't quite finished off yet, but I wanted to finish my Stila 
stay all day lip liner this one's in the shade merlot i'll show you where i was at the last update before i show you where i'm at now it is one of those retractable lip liners that roll up and down so this is how much i have left now i am using this one as an eyeliner and a lip liner to try and get faster use out of it. I do have this one as like an eyeshadow base underneath the burgundy toned single eyeshadows that I'm working on for my Pan Those eyeshadows project. Um, but other than that I've been using it all over the lips as my lip colour for the day and it's actually lasting longer than I thought. I have used this one quite a bit since the last update and it's still going so as you could see I haven't got that much left. I would imagine that I could finish this one up by the next update which would be really good. And then last of all I have my single eyeshadow in the shade Beautiful Iris. This one is from MAC. I won't show you a clip of where I was at the last update because I've literally used this one twice since then and it doesn't look any different. But here is what it looks like. This was for the prompt my favourite, a product in my favourite shade. And I just love this beautiful kind of um, cornflower lilac-y blue shade. It's stunning, it works so well with my eye colour. I just haven't had the chance to reach for it yet because I've got so many eyeshadows going on in my pan nose shadows. But I absolutely will work on this one in the next few weeks. So I'm going to roll in two more products now. So I'm going to get up my... I'm just going to use... I've t typed in random number generator on Google and it's got a Google one here. It's already set to the number three for some reason, but I'm just going to press generate. So I'm just going to pop in maximum 50 and minimum one, and then I'm going to get up my list of prompts. So if I draw a number that I've already picked, obviously I'm going to pick a new number. But the first one I have got is 46. And that is for the prompt... An item out of a subscription box. Right, I can already tell you that I don't have anything from a subscription box. So I'm going to have to roll a new one. Um, so the next one is 12. A product you bought online. Okay, that's super easy because I buy everything online. Then I need to generate another one and I've got the number 9. Which is... What's number 9? product from a previous project. Okay, I have a few um, items in my collection that I have panned in the past and I haven't quite met my goal or I haven't quite finished them, so that'll be really good. I will grab two products and I'll get back to you. So I picked out my two new products and for the product that I've bought online, I have picked out a lipstick and it always reminds me of this time of year because I think I bought this three Christmases ago as like a Christmas present to myself and it was a real treat it's the Charlotte Tilbury actually it might have even been four years ago it's the lipstick shade the Queen and I bought this because I watched the first season of the crown around this time a few years ago and Claire Foy was wearing um, a lipstick shade that the Queen was sort of you know iconically known for wearing at that time and it was this beautiful kind of berry shade not something I generally reach for as you can tell I've not used a lot of it but it is really really special and I need to get more use out of it so I'm gonna throw this one in and set a usage goal I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a 15 use one on this one again um, so that'll be really nice I'm looking forward to reaching for that one and then for the product that was previously in a, another project, I have chosen my NYX Cream Blush in the shade Boho Chic. This is how much I have left. And I had this in a Project 10 pan and I didn't quite finish it. But I would love to get this one completely used up and out of my collection purely because it is just that cream formula and will go off quicker than my other blushes. But it's you know, not a lot left, but as we all know, blushes do take a very long time to pan, so. 
that's everything I have for you today. As I say every update, I'm loving this project so much. I love that it's randomly generated. I also love that it's like a rolling project pan so I can sort of set usages and, you know, set different types of goals rather than trying to just completely finish stuff up. It's a really good way to sort of work through all the products you have in your collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and um, do take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!